Now there's a pattern in this residual plot. As we look from left to right, we can see the magnitude of the residuals is increasing. This is called fanning, and it's a problem. So we'll write, the residual plot shows fanning. That is, the residuals are becoming more extreme as the number of green lights increases. This means our model does a better job predicting total commute time for lower numbers of green lights. In part B, we're trying to figure out which of our predictions would be best for 5, 15, or 25 green lights. Now notice around 5, the residuals near 5 are pretty small. By the time we get to 15, we have much more extreme residuals. And for 25, we don't really know what the residuals would look like. That's beyond our model's domain. So let's talk about the 5, 15, and 25 green lights. The residual plot shows relatively small errors for the values around 5 green lights, so we expect our model to be fairly accurate for 5 green lights. The residuals near 15 green lights are much larger in magnitude, so we expect larger error from our model's predictions for 15 green lights, which means we expect this prediction to be less accurate. 25 green lights is beyond what our model was designed for and based on, but if the residual plot continues to fan, we expect an inaccurate prediction for 25 green lights. With no data near 25 green lights, the prediction would be extrapolation anyways, so it wouldn't be an appropriate use of our model. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.